Hey guys, welcome to the Terry White Tech Blog. Today we're here to take a look at one of my favorite new inventions for photographers. And let's move the camera out of the way, let's move the ball head out of the way a little bit. This is the Platypod Pro. And actually this is the, um, this is my carry around tripod. Now I've got nice big professional tripods that are great um, for stabilizing the camera, but sometimes we run into those situations where we're not allowed to bring a tripod in, or it's just not feasible to travel with one to a particular spot. So the Platypod Pro is the next best thing to your professional level big tripod. Let's go ahead and open up the case, that very nice case, by the way, that it comes with, complete with belt loop uh, so that you can you don't have to take your belt off to get to take it on or put it on and off. Let's go ahead and open it up. And we've got, uh, let's go ahead and take the platypod part out. Now this is it. This is the plate that will hold either your professional ball head or one of the ones that you can get with it. So if you don't have a, a, a um, professional ball head, you've got uh, the ability to just use one of theirs. There's also a quarter 20 uh, screw here or uh, adapter here for any standard uh, devices that need to mount to that plus the larger one that's typical for ball heads. Now, of course, that's just a flat plate. So what makes that a tripod? How's that any different than just sitting your camera on the ground? Well, if we open up the side pocket here, I've got three, I should have three. I think I lost the cap on one of those, three screws. Now these screws can be used in a couple of different ways. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and take some of the other accessories out. Uh, here's a standard um, standard holder for like a, a speed light or some kind of other lighting accessory. So it's not just for your camera. And I've got some, uh, let's go ahead and just dump this stuff out here. I've got some, oh, dropped one. Some uh, nuts there that will go on that. Here's the cap for that one screw. Let's go ahead and put that one back on. And additional caps in case we need them. And let's go ahead and put that one there. And what we have now are all the accessories we need to set this up like a traditional tripod. First and foremost, these screws can go in and actually screw in without the need for the bolt. Now, once I screw this all the way down, you'll notice that it's got like kind of a spiked into it. And that's great for digging those situations where you need to dig into the ground, a rock, or something that will stabilize the camera itself. Now the other way you can use these, we'll go ahead and put this one in as well. The other way, let's say you want to put this on top of a car or some other um, surface that you don't want scratching. Well then what you can do is just put it the opposite way. You can put the rubber side down so that way you'll have a nice uh, soft surface to work from. And so, okay, we can go like that, and that becomes our tripod that's adjustable even in height by just adjusting the levels of the screws. If you wanna put the screws in the other holes, that's where the nuts come in to actually hold the screw in place at the level that you want it to be at. So this allows me to adjust the height. Again, I can use either one of these. So for example, if I wanna just put that there for a light accessory, I've got it, or, take that one out let's put the professional ball head on it there we go we'll just screw that on and now I've got the ball head that I'm used to that I love to be able to hold my professional DSLR at any angle so let's go ahead and get this set up and what we'll do so we'll just go ahead and drop this on tighten it up and get it at the angle we want. And now I'm holding my heavy professional Nikon D810 with a 28 to 300 millimeter lens pretty much at any angle I want. Uh, here, where's the ball head release? There it is. Pretty much at any angle I want to take whatever shots I want. So if I'm shooting HDR, shooting long exposure, I've got a tripod that fits in my pocket. As long as I've got a surface to mount this on, I can get some amazing shots, nice and steady with this setup. And again, 
without having to find the exact rock to put it on that, that's totally flat, I don't have to worry about that with the Platypod Pro. So the Platypod Pro, ball head sold separately or in one of their kits. They've also got different versions of this that will hold a smartphone and uh, give you the accessories you need for that as well. So the Platypod Pro is my favorite new travel accessory for my professional level cameras because I can just take the ball head off the regular tripod and take just this in when I need to go into situations where tripods or, or traditional tripods are prohibited. And having that nice uh, ability to flip these around for a soft, um, soft surface or a surface that I don't want scratched versus one where I kind of want to dig into it, maybe a piece of wood, a rock, or whatever, as we can see here in these examples, uh, this is great for those uses. So I've used the Platypod Pro on a couple of trips already, and it just is a permanent accessory in my bag that I absolutely love. So guys, here's the link. Check out the Platypod Pro. You guys will absolutely love this, and it, it will make a great holiday stocking stuffer for your favorite photographer. Or if you're your favorite photographer, go ahead and pick one of these up. You won't regret it. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.